Hi, are you a Google Summer of Code aspirant? Well, then you're in the right place to learn how to get accepted into Google Summer of Code this year. I'm Ishan, aka Droid Chef, and I'm gonna teach you how to prepare, apply, and get accepted into Google Summer of Code this summer. But before we dive right into the topic, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself, who am I, why am I doing this, and how does the program work? I participated in this program for two consecutive years, in 2014 for MIFO's initiative and in 2015 for XMPP Standards Foundation. And post that, I served as a mentor for MIFO's initiative for the last two years in various programs like Outreachy, Google Summer of Code, and Google Coding. If I can sum up my Google Summer of Code experience in just one line, I'd like to say it fucking changed my life. And as a good netizen, I'd like to help as many students as I can to join the league. What is Google Summer of Code actually? Google Summer of Code is a global program focused on bringing student developers into open source software development. Before we understand how it works, I'd like to mention three keywords and tell you a little bit about those in the context of Google Summer of Code because we're gonna discuss and use those terms over and over again. Organizations are the open source projects that apply to be a part of the program. For example, MIFO's Initiative, MediaWiki, Mozilla, Python Software Foundation, Apache, OpenMRS, and many more such organizations. Students are people who meet the minimum eligibility criteria for the program in order to apply for a project. Mentors are existing contributors in the open source projects that help the students from the day one till the very end of the program. So how does it work exactly? Organizations apply to Google to participate in the program. Google then reviews all the organizations and then eventually announces a list of accepted organizations. Since Google also has a limited budget allocated to Google Summer of Code program, not every organization gets accepted every single year. Once the orgs are announced, students can start going through the project ideas that they have and they can start talking to the mentors and other students and start proposing what they would like to do with them during the summer. After the student application period opens up, students can start sending in their proposals to the organizations that can start reviewing them. The mentors and the administrators of the organizations then review all the proposals students have submitted and then finally choose the best proposal and the best student for any given project that they would like to get a slot. Google then announces a list of accepted students. Then comes the mentor bonding period, eventually followed by the student coding period. I'll cover about these periods in a separate video later. It is important to understand the values associated with Google Summer of Code because you are gonna spend a lot of time and a lot of effort in it. So from my perspective, GSOC has two values associated with it. One would be the extrinsic one, which everybody talks about. One would be the intrinsic one, which rarely anybody touches upon. You would have heard a lot about the stipend associated with the project, the great resumes that you can create after participating in Google Summer of Code, and all the contributions you're gonna to make to the software that you really love. However, what most people don't tell you about is that it is a great opportunity to learn, grow, and hone your skills as a software developer in a very holistic manner. You network with tons of people that you'd have otherwise never even heard of. How to communicate and collaborate with people effectively coming from different cultures, different time zones, all working on the same project, trying to solve the same problem for the world through their open source project. Are you gonna flip bits or burgers? The choice is yours. This is Droid Chef, signing off.